Right. Yeah, no, definitely. I feel like the border has become a very divisive topic with a lot of negative rhetoric coming from especially Republicans. So what is your reaction to some of them even calling for impeachment inquiries into Biden over the border? So how do you hope to continue to build consensus um, and combat these negative comments from Republicans about the border, especially being um, a border Democrat heading into 2024? Well, I, I want to remind my Republican colleagues that Mexico is the United States largest trading partner in North America. And we need to make sure that we are making friends with our largest trading partners uh, and not making enemies. And so we have to take a much different tone of diplomacy uh, when we work with our neighboring countries, in particular with Mexico, as we talk about uh, immigration reform, uh, what, what truly needs to happen is one, we need to focus on what works. The technology to secure the border is incredibly important. That's what I've been fighting for since I've taken this office. And then second, uh, places like uh, in Doniana County, like Santa Teresa, uh, that have exploded with trade and with jobs that are a bright spot for our economy, uh, that are adding you know thousands of uh, opportunities for people here on the border, uh, we also need to support those uh, issues, you know, with with our largest trading partner in Mexico. Uh, we need to make sure that uh, that we are making friends and not enemies across the globe. And in Mexico, we have uh, some of the strongest friends that can help us support uh, American jobs, that can help support uh, international trade that is growing tremendously in my district. Uh, and that's something that folks need to recognize. And so. Uh, I'm in Washington to make sure that the interests of, of our communities are represented. And also, you know, I'm somebody that's been on the border on horseback, on ATV, in a Jeep. I've traversed almost 180 miles of, of the border in my district. And that's just because I love this place. I love this community. Uh, I know how tough it is for families that are seeking asylum and others to come into this country. Uh, but we do need uh, some uh, orderly process, a humane process, a fair process. And that, that means that we have to invest resources and stop politicizing the issue uh, of immigration on the, in, in order to actually make progress on this, on this issue. Congressman, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time.